Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit, where we fuel your passion for all things automotive. Today, we're putting the spotlight on the 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz, a formidable contender to the Ford Maverick. With its distinctive rugged charm, unshakable reliability, and an interior that borders on luxury, there's more than one reason to give the Santa Cruz a second glance over Ford's offering. So, buckle up as we delve into why the 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz is sending shockwaves through the car industry. Reason number six, embracing the rugged aesthetic. The Hyundai Santa Cruz's styling has always been a topic of debate due to its striking resemblance to the Hyundai Tucson. However, in response to market feedback, Hyundai revamped the exterior of their compact pickup truck for the 2025 model year. The redesign enhances the vehicle's ruggedness and sharpness without sacrificing its unique aesthetic. The LED front grille remains, but the lights have been reshaped into rectangles, lending the vehicle a sharper, more retro look. This, along with a simplified and sharper front bumper, and the addition of two tow hooks at the front on certain trims, gives the pickup a truly rugged appearance. The sides have seen subtle changes, with more pronounced plastic wheel arches on certain trims that transform the Santa Cruz from a mundane city pickup truck to a bona fide off-roader. The rear end has also been refreshed, albeit subtly, with minor tweaks to the bumper. And frankly, we wouldn't have it any other way, as the Santa Cruz's rear end was never a point of contention. Reason number five, powering ahead with engine choices. The Hyundai Santa Cruz's engine options have always been a standout feature over the Maverick, and this remains unchanged. The Santa Cruz offers two engines, both compatible with all-wheel drive. The base model features a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated inline four, delivering a solid 190 horsepower. This makes the Santa Cruz lighter and peppier than the hybrid Maverick, ensuring a smoother drive. It also boasts an eight-speed automatic gearbox, offering a superior torque range and a more flexible power band than the CVT-equipped Maverick. The 2.5 turbocharged four-cylinder engine is even more impressive, producing over 280 horsepower and outperforming the EcoBoost Maverick. It's paired with a dual-clutch transmission for quick gear changes and efficient fuel economy. Plus, it packs more torque than the Maverick's engine. You can opt for all-wheel drive with both engines, giving the Santa Cruz an edge over the Maverick, which only offers all-wheel drive with the turbocharged four. While these engines may not be as fuel efficient as the hybrid Maverick in the city, MPG figures of 22 city and 26 highway are still commendable. But that's not all the Santa Cruz has over the Maverick. You can also look forward to reason number four, reliability that stands the test of time. Hyundai has earned a reputation as one of the most reliable car brands in the US over the past decade, and its 10-year warranty continues to reinforce this. The Santa Cruz's biggest advantage over its Blue Oval competitor is its reliability. Ford's quality control has been so poor that the Maverick Hybrid has been known to spontaneously combust from time to time. This is because the Hybrid's engines haven't been properly tested, and some examples were even seen with their blocks cracking and leaking fuel, which combusted when in contact with the hot exhaust manifold. Combine this with the onboard lithium-ion batteries, and you'll understand why the Maverick isn't exactly known for its safety and reliability. In contrast, the Santa Cruz's straightforward and well-tested drivetrains and power plants run circles around the questionable Ford Maverick. The sheer dependability of the truck makes you feel like you're driving a proper workhorse, not some rebadged, mediocre SUV. Speaking of mediocrity, the Santa Cruz also outperforms the Maverick in terms of driving dynamics because it is. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number three, the joy of driving the Santa Cruz. Let's face it, the Ford Maverick's driving experience lacks personality. It's not exactly a chore to drive, but it's far from inspiring. It drives just as it looks, mundane. But here at Piston Pundit, 
We're all about the thrill of the drive, and the Santa Cruz delivers just that. Thanks to its shorter and wider wheelbase, the Santa Cruz feels more grounded on the road, despite being as elevated as the Maverick. This is further enhanced by its firm, almost sporty suspension that makes it quite engaging to drive around bends. The steering wheel is also pretty direct, adding to the overall responsiveness. Sure, it's not out of this world, but it's definitely more communicative and responsive than what the Maverick has to offer. And let's not forget the power plant and transmission combinations that make the vehicle much more responsive and controllable. Now, you might be worried that the added stiffness would make the truck unbearable and uncomfortable, but that's not the case with the Santa Cruz, thanks to its reason number two, a modern and well-built interior that's second to none. The Santa Cruz's pre-redesigned model was already a cut above the Maverick in terms of interior quality. With the facelifted model, Hyundai has taken this a step further. The seats now offer enhanced comfort and support, and the steering wheel has been updated to a sleeker three-spoke design. The most significant upgrade is the infotainment screen and center console. The screen is now larger, clearer, and more user-friendly. The largest variant, a 12.3-inch unit, is seamlessly integrated with the digital driver's display, enhancing the car's luxurious feel and spaciousness. The center console has been simplified, particularly the climate control. The tactile buttons of the previous version have been replaced with rotary dials for a more elegant and less complicated interface. Hyundai wisely retained physical buttons and dials, despite enlarging the infotainment screen. The interior quality surpasses the Maverick, with soft-touch materials covering the dash and superior seats. However, these improvements come with a higher price tag, leading us to our next discussion. Reason number one, pricing and trim levels. The Santa Cruz, pricier than the Ford Maverick, offers various models. The base SE model, at $29,000, lacks the large display and premium interior quality. For $31,000, the SEL model provides keyless go, remote start, and dual zone climate controls, offering better value. The night trim at $40,000 is overpriced despite its larger display and 2.5 turbocharged four-cylinder engine. The XLR at $2,000 more offers a rugged exterior, well-equipped interior and safety features. The top of the range limited model at $43,000 offers the best interior quality and balanced driving dynamics. We recommend the XLR or the SEL, depending on your budget. The Limited is also a good choice, but we'd advise against the SE and night trims. And that's a wrap for today's episode. If you're as revved up about the 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz as we are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with all the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos from Piston Pundit. Keep those engines running, and we'll see you in the next one.